Hey. Hey, you. Yo, over here. Come here. What's up? <laughs> Tiny and super adorable. Uh. Do the I'm the adorable robot. Do do the I'm adorable robot. Uh. Uh. You know you love me. I'm adorable. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are, this of course is Corvus Wyasti here once again waving to you. Hey, what's up? And uh, Guild Wars 2. Don't forget to uh, hit the like button. Thumbs up this video. Thumbs up all my videos. Support me. Show me some love. I mean, look at this face. Seriously. Look. Look at this face. Can you... Can you really deny this face? Hmm? Can you? No. No, you cannot. And don't forget also to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell icon. Alright, so today I'm going to walk you through the tutorial or the... Well, yeah, I guess it's the tutorial for the... Uh, check, check, and recheck. For, um... For the Azurans. I forgot where I was for a minute there. Um, so we're going to go through the tutorial. I'm not going to talk when they're talking, just so you know. Well, I might, but I doubt it. Alright, so the first thing we got to do is meet up with a peacemaker. Now, the way they have it set up is you can only get a certain level. Alright, so while we're going through the tutorial, I'll be showing you a few things. First thing, skills. Now, as you can see, all these are locked. All these are locked. Why are they locked? Well, they are locked because I am not the level for them yet. See? You have to be a certain level to unlock all these. So, I gotta go unlock all this stuff. So, we're gonna start with the bow, we're gonna do some work. Try and unlock them. Do all that happy hoo ya. Down on the bottom here, of course, is the experience bar, as I showed you last time. So let's meet up with the peacemaker. And your character has a voice. It's pure chaos out here. Unacceptable. What's going on? Just what it looks like. These golems have gone mad. Zoja suspects someone tampered with them. And by someone, she means the inquest. Zoja's rarely wrong. Don't tell her I said rarely, by the way. If it is the inquest, she's going to need help. Where can I find her? At the malfunctioning gate that's spitting out these deranged golems. She claims she could feel them on the other side of the gate laughing at us. Not for long. I'm going to help Zoja shut down the problem at its source. Thanks for the information. Yeah. Thanks for the info. Bye bye. Alright, so I have to go to a portal. Can't use any of my skills yet, but one day I will get to use all my skills. It's not really like, unless they want you to kill a certain amount of these things. Honestly, it used to be you do want to kill them and you could farm them for a good level or two. But they changed all that and made it so there's no real point to doing that anymore. So she's gone through the portal. <clears throat> Get in there quickly. She'll need your help. So yeah. All right. So we got to go help Zoja. And there's Zoja. Snaff's footnote has joined our little party, and she brought friends. Teo. Oh, for a second there, I thought someone dangerous was behind this. Oh, spare my tender feelings. It's true. I'm not dangerous. These golems are here. Let them show you what dangerous really means. Yeah, there's other players in the tutorial, so yeah. Ex just accept it. Um, a lot of times, believe it or not, it's helpful to have these other players. Because you have to, in every single race's tutorial, you got to fight something vicious. And you'll see it.
As you can see, it's kind of pointless. Did that scramble? I've invited another guest to your victory party. Yep. The guest of honor has arrived. Let's take it down. Every tutorial of every race, you gotta fight one big vicious monster. For these guys, it's a golem. You're looking a little wobbly. Did that scramble your brain waves? Turn up the volumes of the music so you can hear music. <clears throat> Is that all you've got? I've made sturdier volumes in my sleep. It's not fun only having one skill in the tutorial, but it's all you really need, honestly. And especially with multiple people, it goes down pretty quick. Let's see how you Someone kills your master. Defensive protocols suspended. And that's it. That's honestly the whole tutorial. <laughs> hey, it's you again. I see you survived with your epidermis intact. Of course. It takes more than a giant rampaging inquest golem to get the better of me. Heh, <laughs> modest too. Well, you've earned a dash of praise, if you ask me. The crews around the city would kill for the assistance of an inventor with your talents. You should ask around. Make yourself invaluable. Not a bad idea. Thanks. Yay! Accept that! Level 2, yay! And in level 2, you get a new skill. And each... Five, two, as one, you go up two. levels, you'll start to unlock these things as well. Extra attributes and all that. And these are my upcoming rewards when I get to the next level. So it's nice because they tell you what they are. This one's stronger, so I swap over. And then, let's see, can I break that down? No, I can't. So, bye bye. Now, this right here, it's a Hall of Monuments portal stone. It has to do with Guild Wars 1. If you have Guild Wars 1 and you do the Hall of Monuments and you have points, you can actually activate this to go to the Hall of Monuments to get your outfits, your pets of your ranger, stuff like that. Alright, so now the first thing are scouts. Scouts basically tell you what's up in the area. Here's an Welcome example. Welcome to Metrica Province. You'll find private laboratories all over where our crews work on dangerous research. And we pay the price for excellence. Labs need to be carefully maintained. But I'm sure that's not news to you. We see a fair bit of interference from the inquest. They're envious of our advances and covered our research materials. Our researchers could use someone with your talents. On your journey, you may also encounter nefarious events in the world. Don't let these opportunities pass by you. Jump in and help! As you gad about, you'll encounter our Magi Matter transportive devices, more commonly known as waypoints. They're mini-gates that, for a trivial fee, transport you across great distances. They're the second most convenient way to travel next to our gates. Alright, so let's go through what he just spoke about in a little more detail. Now you're going to find these guys each time you go to a different area. So if I bring up the map. So we have this place unlocked now because we talked to the scout. He kind of showed us the world. Now there will be another scout in this area somewhere. And another scout in this area. See there's a scout there. There's different scouts in different places. And as you go through the world, you'll start to slowly unlock everything. But it still gives you all the information right here. So, for example, the place we are now is Metrica Province. It's for levels 1 through 15. It's got 16 uh, job hearts, 8 hero points, 16 waypoints, 23 points of interest, and 9 vistas. So let's start with the closest thing, which is a heart. <clears throat> Alright, so what a heart is, is basically it's like a job or a task. 
So, let me mount up. Yeah, if you unlock a mount on one character, it's unlocked for all your characters. Just so you know. Alright, now you see I've uh, entered near a heart. I know that because up here at the top, it actually shows up. Support the Gollomancing Research. Which means experiment on inactive golems, repair golem control panels, organize toolboxes along the road and inside nearby labs. So basically, here's a toolbox. Organize. And as you see, the bar went up some. Basically, you can do any of the missions that they talk about up here. You can organize the tools, you can play with this. Let's see. Please diagnose the failure symptoms present present in this unit. Uh, two frayed wires are sparking, unfortunately, close to the fuel tank. This unit will now address the diagnosis. Good luck. Let's see. How'd I do? Yep, had to fight it. Oh, I accidentally hit a boar. <laughs> Four dead. I'm gonna swap mounts. There we go. Now when I need to travel, I can travel. Because there's not really anything I need a griffin for in this area. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up all this. And then another toolbox. See if there's any more toolboxes that I can use. Hmm. Don't see any. There's one. Toolbox. You used to be able to use this too, and it was like a little um, board game. Basically, you would take control of either the blue or the red, and you would walk it around and attack the other one. And it would have skills that are two blocks or one block, and you could either do it straight on some skills, some skills will go diagonal, stuff like that. It was sort of like a, I guess a combat chess board. I think, now this is an event, I'm not sure. Basically, what events are, are dynamic events, are things that happen in the world, dynamically, at certain points in the game. Alright, let's see, what else is there? Let's go to the control panel. Do that, good luck. That's gonna activate them, we're gonna beat them up. Activate that. So you can do the toolbox and the golem at the same time. And now here's the thing. If there's a dynamic event like this inside the match, like, for example, these are inside the heart area. Oh, let's help them out. Now here's the thing. This is inside the area, which means that when I finish it, it will actually count towards the heart if I finish it. <laughs> it's not easy to finish it by yourself. Sometimes a lot of dynamic events would be hard to do by yourself. But we can do it by ourselves. It just takes a while because, you know, level 2, weak bow, no real skills. Come on, go down. Play dead. <laughs> there we go. And done. It gives you a lot of experience points for doing dynamic events. It counts towards this. Lots of goodies. Oh, toolbox. Let's see. Toolbox. 
And now you see down here, the heart is done. It brings up a little thing here. Each time you do the hearts, you get paid. This is what I got paid, 45 co coins and 90 karma. And the merchant unlocked, uh, this guy over here has been unlocked. The guy who gave you the heart, see you don't even have to go back to the heart guy. I like that. There's no backtracking if you don't want to. You can just move on to the next one. So, all these heart merchants, they sell things for a thing called karma. So, you don't have to worry about spending your actual money. Like your coins. You don't have to spend them. They don't normally give anything like super useful, but at this low level, that's useful. So, boom. I did, hooked it in. You can double click things in your inventory. It automatically goes in your inventory. Alright, so I'm going to head to the next uh, thing after the hearts and be back. Well, we're at the next thing. The next thing is called a vista. It's got these two triangles here. And if you look at the map, it's got two triangles. And let's see, is there another one? Yeah, right there, two triangles. Vistas basically are, well, they're on here. If you look at the map, top left corner right here. Um, if you put your mouse on it, they blink. Vistas basically, what they are is they're uh, visuals. Here, I'll show you. They're visuals of what goes on in the world. For example, this vista is assigned to this area. So therefore, it does like a little camera zoom of where you are. Like if you want to make a little story out of this, you could literally use the vista as like later that day type thing, I guess. Um, and yeah, vistas are extremely helpful. Hey, I made level three. Yay, thank you. Next is that stuff. Attach that. So, yep. That's what a vista is. And a point of interest. There's one right below me. We See, there's a point of interest right here. It now activated. And it's right there. And it gives you experience points. You get experience points for finding all this stuff. Now, if you haven't found it yet, if you found it, it'll look like that. It'll give a name. It'll be lit up. If you haven't, it'll look like that. It won't be lit up. And basically, that's the point of interest. Point of interest are, you know, all over the place. Like, this has literally 23 inside this area. Next thing I'm going to show you is the hero point. So, we're going to head over to the hero point. Swap to a raptor. I don't have any of my special skins on this character yet because, well, they're on there. I just haven't activated any of them just because there's no real point. I'm just showing you this stuff. And there's no point putting a special skin on. Ooh, that was close. Where am I? Right down here. Alright, so... Here's a hero point. Now, some hero points, all you have to do is go up to them, and it'll give you an option to commune. This one is an actual battle. So what you have to do is you have to defeat this guy. You can defeat him. You can make it your hero point, and you'll get the hero point, and it'll add it to your, well, to your hero points. And once I destroy him, then I'll show you what you do with hero points specifically. And done. Alright, so that's the hero point challenge done. Right there. Now, what you do with hero points, you would go here to the hero points. But that's required level 11. So, uh... I'll show you that in one minute, just be right back. So I had to switch characters to one that's actually above level 11, which uh, I swapped over to my Revenant real quick. And now, 
what you do with hero points. Basically, what you do with hero points is you would put them into these, and each one would cost a specific amount. And you would have to load up all your skills, all your specializations. Uh, elite specializations have to do with Heart of Thorns and Path of Fire expansions. For example, the Herald is one. The Renegade is the other. Uh, unfortunately, I don't remember which is which on this character, so I couldn't show you. Now, as for um, anything else in the map, it's all free game. I've showed you the dynamic events, I've showed you heart, renowned hearts, I've shown you points of interest, the vistas, the hero challenges, points of interest, waypoints, and of course, hearts. Now, if you notice, when I put it on hero challenges, nothing blinks, that's because if you already have a hero challenge, or you already have a vista, or a heart, then that heart will not light up. Now, I'm in an area where the hearts reset every day. So, it says I have one of four, but as you can see, they're all blank still, so they all blink. Waypoints. Waypoints are not going to blink. I have all three of three, therefore, they're not blinking. So, if you have one that you actually haven't unlocked yet, you can get them to blink. Now, if you go too high, they're not going to blink. Some will, like the hearts, they'll blink because the hearts are still there. But other things won't because they're not really there. Now, if you zoom in, there's a point of interest, there's a heart. Click on the point of interest. See, the point of interest blinks. It blinks. It doesn't blink. So you have to make sure that you're at the farthest zoomed out part in order to click it for it to actually light up and tell you what you are missing. So say for example I've got 29 of the 30. I could literally sit here and do this until I found that one point of interest that's not finished. And once you finish a map you actually get a loot box. Now you can't really see what's in the loot box until you've completed it. And it has a completion bar. If you're in the rest of the world, the regular uh, Guild Wars 2 world, that does not link to anything. Like the Crystal Desert and all that, that's all actually linked together. Therefore, so for example, this is not linked to the rest of the world, it's not linked to anything else, it's just the Crystal Desert, therefore it shows the Crystal Desert. If you're in the world, so say for example, let's go to, uh, let's just go to, uh, you know what, let's go to Lion's Ark. We'll go straight to the Trader's Swarm. Now again, old computer, might take a little bit to load in. So we're just going to wait patiently. I'll give you a topic. How great is Corey? <laughs> okay, so here we are in the world. Now, hit the map again. Now you see over on the left, it has the specific map that we're in, Lion's Ark. But if you look above it, world completion. Because you get specific items to make legendary weapons when you do world completion on each character. So say for example, but you only get two um, of them. I forgot what they're called. It's been a year since I've touched them. Um, but basically you get two of them. And if you use uh, a two uh, one-handed weapon and another one-handed weapon, then you're going to need two. But see, that's where it comes in is an issue because now you've got two, but you still have another set of weapons and maybe that one is a two-handed like the staff I have on this character. This is two-handed, therefore I would only need one for that. This is two-handed, so I would only need one for that. The thing is though, say for example this is a one, two one-handed weapons, and then this is a one-handed weapon. Now I need three, or maybe I have two sets of dual weapons. Well if you have sets of dual weapons, 
then you'll need to actually get four so you'd have to make a new character it gets complicated but basically it's not something you have to really worry about I mean if you can earn up the gold you can buy a legendary weapon they're just extremely 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 expensive in fact I could probably bring it up on the trade trading post and show you how extremely expensive they really are so we'll go into here we'll go into legendary and there it is 2650 gold doesn't sound like a lot trust me in guild wars 2 that's a lot <laughs> all this is a lot of money like a whole lot of money I mean they can get pricey now you when you first start out you should not really worry about uh, the harp go away now when you first start out don't worry about that trading post thing I just showed you it's not really gonna do you much good a lot of people say it would but no, it's really not gonna do you any good at all um, you want to focus on wherever you start. If you're a Norn, start in your area. If you're an Azuran, start in your area. Over here. If you're a uh, Silvari, if you're human, if you're Char, whatever you are, start in your area. Work the map. Start with the first map. Go from there. Do that map. Get all the vistas, get all the waypoints, all the points of interest, all the hero points you can find. Get those because those are going to buff up your experience points. A lot of people don't realize that, but it will kick up your experience points. And in the end, it will honestly be more helpful than you'll ever realize. A lot of people don't know that and don't care. Trust me, you're going to care because it will become completely and utterly and totally frustrating when you get higher in the levels and then you got to go back and do all that in the maps all over again so remember if you want to do it and you want to play the game you need to do map for map and do everything in each map as you go along now say for example you don't feel like doing it that way there is a thing called world versus world pvp the structured PvP is totally different. Structured PvP is right here. And that will take you to a lobby. It will be a specific lobby. And I'll go ahead and go in there. And again, it's going to take a minute. So you're just going to have to wait. Because that's just... That's just the way it works when you're on an old freaking computer. <laughs> takes a while for it to load up but uh and we're gonna go more into detail on the structured pvp and the world v world v world but um just to show you now when you come in here you're automatically boosted to level 80 you have totally different build that you can work with you have level 80 weapons all that you have a spot you can go to I'm not sure where it is here let me see right up here that you can go to and basically get whatever you need for your specific character in this area structured PvP is totally separate from everything else and again I'll show it to you another in another video I'm just giving you an example so if you come into structured PvP thinking that you're gonna get experience points to work with your original character it's not gonna happen do not expect that as you can see there's two things up here your play PvP and your PvP build this is your PvP build it is specifically for player versus player only okay I have no idea what this is but I'll look at that into that before I do anything now world versus world let's go take a look at that 
And we're gonna go to Eternal Battlegrounds itself. Again, old computer. Give me a moment to spawn in. But while oh it took a lot less than I thought I would. Alright. It took a lot less, probably because there's nobody really here. Now World v. World will work towards a World v. World experience bar. But in World v. World, if I bring up this bar, you have reward tracks. In these reward tracks, you can get specific things. For example, well, they don't let you see it anymore. They used to, they don't anymore. Yeah, see right there, the book that's on there it's the fourth to the right that one right there is uh, basically one of these it's a tome of knowledge for each one of those that you get you can put it in your shared account slot and send it over to add one level of XP to your other characters and that does work believe it or not but again if you're trying to get the two sets of dual weld weapons you're gonna have to get map completion on two characters plus you get this neat little golden emblem over your head which I unfortunately cannot show you because this guy doesn't have world completion and on my original on my main character it's not gonna show it to me specifically but it's there believe me it's there a oh, little mesmer so that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you guys come back. Don't forget, as I say at the beginning and the end of every video, hit that subscribe button, activate notification icon, like the video, support. And as always, I will be here again for another video. And I'm going to try and expand my games for you guys and see what I can do. All right. So. This is, of course, Corvus Wyosity, but you can call me Corey. And later days.